Good morning, Good morning Father. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. For this unsuspected, let us acknowledge our sins and ask God and God. Lord, you have said it is the one right of God. Lord, have our mercy. Lord, have our mercy. mercy. Lord, you came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. It will just see it for us. Lord, have our mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. 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 Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, whom first by the Holy Spirit, be there to call our Father, bring me pray to perfection in our hearts, the spirit of adoption of your Son, Son, Lord, day, that we may merit to enter into the inheritance which you have promised through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The word of the Lord came to me. Son of man, you live in the midst of a rebellious house. They have eyes to see, but do not see, and ears to hear, but do not hear, for they are a rebellious house. Now, son of man, during the day while they are looking on, Prepare your baggage as though for exile, and again, while they are looking on, migrate from where you live to another place. Perhaps they will see that they are a rebellious house. You shall bring out your baggage like an exile in the daytime while they are looking on. In the evening, again, while they are looking on, you shall go out like one of those driven into exile. While they look on, dig a hole in the wall and pass through it. While they look on, shoulder the burden and stand up in the darkness. Cover your face that you may not see the land, for I have made you a sign for the house of Israel. I did as I was told. During the day, I brought out my baggage as though it were that of an exile, and at evening, I dug a hole through the wall with my hand, and while they looked on, set out in the darkness, shouldering my burden. Then in the morning, the word of the Lord came to me. Son of man, did not house of Israel, that rebellious house, ask you what you were doing? Tell, tell them, thus says the Lord, this oracle concerns Jerusalem and the whole house of Israel within it. I am a sign for you, as I have done, so shall it be done to them. As captives, they shall go into exile. The prince who is among them shall shoulder his burden and set up in darkness, going through a hole he has dug out in the wall, uncovering his face, lest he be seen by anyone. The word of the Lord. Do not forget the works of the Lord. Do not forget the works of the Lord. They tempted and rebelled against God the Most High, and kept not his decrees. 
They turned back and were faithless like their fathers. They recoiled like a treacherous bow. Do not yet forget the, the works of the, of the Lord. They angered him with their high places, and with their idols roused his jealousy. God heard and was enraged, and utterly rejected Israel. Do not forget, Do not forget the, the, Lord. the works of the Lord. And he surrendered his strength in, into captivity, his glory in the hands of the foe. He abandoned his people to the sword and was enraged against his inheritance. Do yeah. not forget the works of the Lord. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Let your countenance shine upon your servant and teach me your statutes. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Peter approached Jesus and asked him, Lord, if my brother sins against me, how often must I forgive him? As many as seven times. Jesus answered, I say to you, not seven times, but seventy-seven times. That is why the kingdom of heaven may be likened to a king who decided to settle accounts with his servants. When he began the accounting, a doctor was brought before him who owed him a huge amount. Since he had no way of paying it back, his master ordered him to be sold along with his wife, his children, and all his property in payment of the debt. At that, the servant fell down, bid him homage, and said, be patient with me, and I will pay you back in full. Moved with compassion, the master of that servant let him go and forgive him the loan. When that servant had left, he found one of his fellow servants who owed him a much smaller amount. He seized him and started to choke him, demanding pay back what you owe. Falling to his knees, his fellow servant begged him, Be patient with me, and I will pay you back. But he refused. Instead, he had the fellow servant put in prison until he paid back the debt. Now, when his fellow servant saw what had happened, they were deeply disturbed and went into their master and reported the whole affair. His master summoned him and said to him, You wicked servant, I forgive you your entire debt because you begged me to. Should you not have had pity on your fellow servant as I had pity on you? Then in anger his master handed him over to the torturers until he should pay back the whole debt. So will my heavenly Father do it to you, unless each of you forgives his brother from his heart. When Jesus finished these words, he left Galilee and went into the district of Judea across the Jordan. The Gospel of the Lord. For the ancestors from the Gospel of today, Jesus is teaching us we should have a compassionate and forgiving and generous heart. It is very much needed in our day to day life. Especially in the family life, we don't have this forgiving heart. 
we cannot adjust our life. This modern world, lot of problems among the people because they have a lot of money. They have a job, they have the money, and they don't want to depend on others, and they don't want to accept, they don't want to obedience to others. Even the wife and husband, among the children, and they go in their own way. That is the reason in a family life there are many, many divorces are taking place. They cannot accept each other. They cannot forget. They cannot forgive. But look into the life of Jesus. If God is not forgiving our sins, who can stand in front of Him? Many times we say to the Lord, Lord, I am a sinner. Please forgive me. We are asking God to forgive our sins. Why should we cannot forgive other sins, our brothers and sisters? Maybe our wife, maybe our husband. If there is no mutual understanding with each other, we cannot be successful in our family life, any life. As you know, we are four priests here. Four are different in character. Everything is different. But we have no problem with each other. We are loving and caring. We know each other. We know the weaknesses of each other. It is understanding. It is adjusting. The same with the married life, the family life. It is an adjusting life. But when a person is coming to the family and say, new person, wife or husband, we have to understand that person, the background, the weakness, the problems. The proud person do not have this forgiveness of heart because this person is always thinking about it. Because of me, I have all these things. Because of my ability, because of my strength, because of my knowledge, I have, God, I have all these things. Because of me. That person cannot, do not have the forgiving heart, compassionate heart, loving heart. He may not be a generous person. So ask the Lord in a special way during this Mass. Lord, I need like you a compassionate heart, loving heart. So that my family members, my husband, my wife, I love them what they are in their own weaknesses. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Embracing the command of forgive, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. That the baptized may signs of God's generous mercy. We pray to the Lord, Lord that conflict among people of faith may be overcome by forgiveness and understanding. We pray to the Lord, Lord that God's people may embrace their vocation to reconcile all people. We pray to the Lord, Lord that families turned by conflict and pain may know reconciliation. We pray to the Lord, Lord that the sick may trust in God's healing mercy. We pray to the Lord, Lord that we may offer forgiveness as God has forgiven us. We pray to the Lord, Lord our for our special intentions, Dan and Mary Ryan. We pray to the Lord, Lord our and also we pray for the person who undergoing coronavirus, Alicia, 
Romero, Romero, we pray the Lord. That the dead may rejoice in God's eternal mercy. We pray to the Lord. Lord, we are prayers. Last, let pray for a vocation. God our Father, we give you thanks for calling us to embrace the gift of life and share it. As once through Jesus the Christ, you chose the first disciples to proclaim the good news and pour out your spirit upon the church. Renew us now in our vocation and our mission of reconciliation. Let the same call and go in the heart of many young persons that they may generously respond to the needs of our brothers and sisters and of the example of Mary, the beautiful lady of Nazareth, inspired in men and women of our time the desire to be light and soul in the church and the world. Amen. Be pleased, O oh Lord, to accept the offerings of your church, for in your mercy you have given them to be offered, and by your power you transform them in the mystery of our salvation. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to Lord our God. It is for your right and just our duty and our salvation always, and we are here to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent us our Savior, our Redeemer, incarnate of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin, and fulfilling your will and guiding for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he entered his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so we join the angels and say, to proclaim your glory, as we say, Holy, 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 Lord of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the founder of our holiness. May holy, therefore, this gifts be praised by sending down your spirit upon them at the new hope, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, I entered willingly into this passion. He took bread and giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take it, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my heart, which will be 
Before the Lamb of God, before the King, who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those going to the suffering of the Lamb, to the Lamb of God, and 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 the Lamb of God, and
in the moment. Holy said the word in this and shall be healed. Amen.
communion in your sacrament, that we have consumed, save us, O Lord, and confirm us in the light of your truth. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. The Almighty God bless you, the Father, the, Father, the, Son, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 The Mass is ended. Let us go the peace of Christ. Thanks. Thanks, Thanks God. God. Have a blessed day. You too, Father. Thank you.